Hi. Um, I'm going to set some ground rules. Because we're not comprehending that you can't build up calcium sugars. You can't. Um, there's a study. There's a study on it. It's a little bit different than protein. You can't build up on calcium sugars. You, you, you just can't. It's, it's, calcium is a different element. It's a different element in the body and it produces differently. It's not like eating sugar cane, candy cane, anything like that. The reason why we crave calcium is because we have to have it. Okay, there's a salt in there that you crave. I don't have this gene. I don't have this gene. And I'm going to explain something else to Miss Kaylee. My mother, it's documented, had a blood transfusion before having me four years prior to having me. All right. 84 was when she got married. So we're going to leave it at that because by the Hippocratic Oath, I don't have to give you the specific date. I don't have to tell you any of this information, but you seem to want to know it all. Um, given that little piece of information, it is possible, it is possible that we, meaning me and my sister, okay, probably would not have had this food allergy result had she not had that transfusion, okay? I'm going to make it clear again. If it wasn't for that event, we probably would be different human beings. I'm sorry, shit happens. I'm going to lay this down. Okay, I can't do this stunt again because you just so happen to have found it or claimed to have found it. There was no documentary whatsoever. Okay, none. And I remember your clear, clear the air. I remember that day because I was with my sister and you know what happened? We parted our fucking ways once again. So I'm going to say this loud and clear. Your little entrance was already predicted by George Lucas when he made the first three Star Wars. And we just happened to pick it up. I picked it up fast. There was Han Solo and Leia representing Nikki Haley and Graham. And then there was Leia and, Han and Luke Skywalker, which was you and Graham. Okay. There is one scene he's going to show, if you ever get a chance to see it, then he's going to show the mock-up scene, which is the scene that led into that scene. We all had seen it, okay? For the guys, for the guys, because they pick up on these Lord things a little bit better, there's Lord Vader, Lord Sidious, then there's Lord Vader, and then there's Maul, okay? M-A-U-L, okay? Just in case you're not fluent with George Lucas, we are. This household is. We grew up on Star Wars. My mother grew up on Star Trek, okay? I fell in love with Spock because I liked how Spock was. I like how he went through his day. My sister preferred Scotty because he was funny. Okay, Scotty was because he was funny because that's exactly how he feels. And that's exactly how she feels. Okay, it was, it was, it, it, it was that. But you're pissing me off saying... We're not going through. We are going through. We are going through. I keep saying it. The more you do correct, the more it elongates. Your days and weeks are going to feel longer. We're living in a slice of time. We're not living an actual fucking calendar. So do me a favor. For the sake of everybody's fucking headache. I've never seen my black ring and my ring turn so black. After I just got done having like dinner. I sat there and said, man, my head is just fucking spinning. And all I'm thinking about is, I got to get to bed. My head isn't spinning because of my diet. That takes about a day or two to get over. This, this, isn't, this isn't like a two-year process. It's a one or two day get over it type thing. It is. You find something to replace it with, and then you make do with it. If I want to have store-bought bread... I have to argue the fact that I grew up on this stuff and that I haven't been sick to it, okay? You're really pissing me off and you're pissing other people, which are thousands of other young ladies and young gentlemen who have food allergies that are like mine. Get a fucking grip. 
get a grip because the next thing I'm going to start saying to you, do, do, do you have your head in place where the word population is at? Or do you really think that you're just stuck in a bubble full of people? Because if you are, we're going to we're going to play out Phantom of the Menace. Oh, we are. We're going to play out Phantom of the Menace because I've got a tremendous big logic bubble to pop. You know what that is? You don't have a doctor's degree in AP sciences whatsoever. Whatsoever. You know who does? Jimmy Carter. Don't sit in that room with him thinking you're going to hot stuff it. You ain't going to hot stuff it. And don't sit there and say a gas station is a business. It's not. If I have product that I produce, I'm selling it and making money off of it. If I have people bringing in product to sell, it is a bill. B-I-L-L. -L, a bill. It is a bill of goods that I have agreed to allow on my premises to sell. Take the money. I give it back to the people. They want to give me a profit. They can. It is not a business per se. You learn that word in, in, in government, right? Per se, P-E-R-S-A-Y with the space in between. Not hyphenated, I hope. Because if you learned hyphenated, that actually means something completely different. And if you think you know what that is, you really don't know what that is. Because that is an old bartering goods term. Okay. Plus, I'm a little bit pissed off <laughs> that nothing is regulated. Nothing is regulated. Not even the educational books are regulated. So you can't even tell me what book to read because I'm going to say to you, it ain't regulated. Because if my peanut butter in a jar is not regulated, then there is no such thing as educational textbooks being regulated by the government. Okay? All right? Because uh, if I have all these food allergy results showing that we have a little bit of milk problem, and soy problem, and um, oh, what's the other one? Uh, you know, yogurt problem because we like to substitute stuff. I would have on the shelf, I would have on a shelf, an actual bread made with no milk, like no fancy ingredients, like just pure stuff that's not organic. You want to know what organic is? We're gonna grab you by your fucking hair. Me and the other 15 housewives that have to figure out how to maintain a, pl a plantation, we're going to grab you by your hair and we're going to tell you organic, 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 and organic. Then we're going to throw you to the biggest nigger and we're going to just watch you try to handle yourself because at that point, you're just a dumb head. You're just a dumb head because that's organic. All I have to do is pull something from the ground and show you it's organic. Okay. I'm upset with you in the most happiest way. Okay. It's still blue. It's still blue. It means I'm relaxed. Okay. I happen to be a person who is actually wearing her fucking food. Okay. The crabs, everything in the ocean is severely highly stressed happy. Okay. We merrily walk along. We merrily walk along and we're singing and we're driving and we're eating and stuff and we're not killing each other until we see a big fucking creature. And then that's when we get stressed out because we have to wonder. I don't see a number. It's not my time. Okay really highly stressed out. I'm not a human on, on your astrological sign chart. I'm not a human. I'm an animal. Okay. I get cracked with butter. Okay. And that's no different than the asshole that you're with. Right. Needless to say, that's the same naked gun asshole that decided to do stupid shit to get us in this fucking infinite loop. Okay. I do not have tolerance for you. You do not have any patience or tolerance or education compared to the young ladies and young gentlemen who have similar food allergies to me that are more educated in Black Lives Matter under the Malcolm X government versus the Al Sharpton, excuse me, Reverend Sharpton and Martin Luther King Jr. Black Lives Matter uh, government, okay? You have no clue. You neither have been in a relationship with them. You have not pursued anything small and minute according to how you have to enter into these things not a single damn thing you are as white airhead as it fucking gets in fact i'm pretty sure airhead company made a mystery packet in white of you okay 
we don't know who you are. We don't care about who you are. We don't. And there are other young, older ladies that have the Holocaust mentioned in their um, economic analysis that when people spend money in the wrong places, they will start doing stupid, crazy things similar to Arkham Gotham. Oh, I'm, I'm being very Democrat here because this is what the Democrats do. They just pull movies left and right. And then you have to f figure out what the fuck they're saying and follow along until you get to, you know, it's sunny in Philadelphia and you're just like. Skeletor, okay, Masters of the Universe, because that's what's the equivalent to. It is. I have no patience for you. I don't care about you. You made a fucking scene about absolutely fucking nothing. You really did, okay? This time around, because I have this food allergy that can't be replenished, excuse me, I ate way too much, but I actually ate full enough. Um, I can't do this again. Okay. You make a mistake. Kamala makes a mistake. Any one of you fucking bitches make a mistake. It's on your head. Okay. Like the rest of us million Americans who have to go in and face what we have to deal with every day. We're actually more psychic than the people. All we're trying to do is just get bigger insight because apparently we're dealing with Sesame Street fucking issues. All right. You don't have that up in DC. All you have is just Russian history repeating. It is. It's a complete fucking Russian history if you follow along. If you completely follow along. Because what it is now is that there are actually two daughters that do have the same or similar test results from a mother, okay, from a mother that received a blood transfusion. Uh, in Russian genetic history, there is a lot of royalty families that have blood disorders caused by other, you know, medical wonders. Um, I don't know how else to explain it. Um, blood deficiencies vitamin deficiencies okay so this becomes a little bit of a oh shit this is a bad omen no it's not a bad omen what it means is that you fucked up and you want to blame it on the family that has a deficiency okay once again population population there are other people with issues other people with issues similar to mine far worse than mine me i'm just an old vampire honest to god old vampire old vampire just trying to figure out how to get slabbed on a table how to get slabbed on a table that that's really what it is that's really what it is okay it is i've leaned out i've toned out i've gelled out i've hot sauced it <laughs> i mean what more could there possibly be i've even even smoked it smoked heat i mean that's what a sauna is i've smoked my own body it's not it's not even funny hickory mesquite who the hell knows what the hell's on, on the coals i've done everything that's what's that's really what's on my mind what's on my mind is are you attracted to the death star writer no no sweetheart every single one of those letters was made by the beauties that they that they shot the bambi of and i'm speaking in fucking old canterbury english because that was one of the letters and it was just like you're going to get shot. You're going to get shot. Follow along. It is. It is. I am Miss Death Star. I am the one he's talking about. He does not like me. He does not like me. He does not like how I, how I actually live. But if you think about it, if I were to do this $45,000 project, okay, <laughs> you got to give me something. I'm giving you, I'm giving you bread. I took the time to harvest, grain it, crush it, meal it, and then put it into some sort of form of edibleness and hand it over to you for a slab of beef, okay? it's it, That's a currency right there. What do you have? I have bread. I'll take bread. What do you have? I have steak. Okay, I like your currency. I'll take that. You want my currency? Here's the currency. Here you go. Like, <sighs> shut up. Sit down and shut up. Holy Lord, where the fuck were you that day when when that that whole fucking sex scene was on TV in the Senate House? What? It? No, we. What it was? We. No, no, no. There was hundreds of us. We didn't need to see that cherry on the fucking whipped cream. I didn't need to see that. I didn't need to see that. It crushed my whole fucking world. It did because I had a complete free willy Dianetics going on. We're gonna help Rick get into the next fucking energy wave. 
Why do I, why do I want to fucking help him? I'm trying to figure out how to get a raccoon in his hand. Okay. To make him understand that you just don't do things your fucking way. It's just, it's, it's mind boggling. It's mind boggling how you could fucking sit there and say you look good on fucking TV. I don't care. So let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. How do you feel surrounded by uh, supermodels dated by politicians? Oh, I got one even better. How do you feel about baseball wives being dated by a politician? How, how do you feel about that? I mean, these girls, they really are racked up. They really are. I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm just trying to figure it out on the low, medial income budget. No, because you thought you were hot shit on TV. I'm in my white and black. I, I could, you know, I, I, you know, Jeter's wife is pretty hot. She's pretty hot in white and black. She's got a whole wardrobe. I really don't want to get into that argument. <laughs> Nothing's regulated. Not even YouTube is regulated. Any person who says that a business has your, has your best interest. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh no. <laughs> Don't say that because here's what I'm going to say. You really think your bodyguard has your best interests? I have to take it to the finest hair of argument. Do you really think your bodyguard has your best interest? Okay. Do you have for a fact that they are government owned and regulated? Or is it from a private company? That agreed to be government regulated. That's a little different than it being, hey, look, we started off like this. We're going to continue being government regulated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I will. <laughs> does a locust burp? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And the venom is still, the venom foam is still used to break down little insect critters. Which, you're going to get a whole bunch of nine-year-old boys tell you that freaking scientific fact. Oh, good lord. They love it. Don't get the one to tell you about dinosaurs, man. He'd just be yakking, 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 yakking. <laughs> With a little hand toy, just yakking away. Probably Triceratops. Yak, 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 yak. That probably was the librarian of the whole pack. <laughs> so... They, 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 could, they could, they could. Boys have imaginations, just like girls have imaginations, you know. Kelly, Megan, Barbie, Tiffany. You know, the whole slew of them. Dude, I have a fucking headache. You had to pick up the fucking phone. You just had to pick up the phone. I'm not understanding this. You know it's going to loop through. Why did you ask if you were doing it correct when you just fucking repeated yourself? Here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to help you out with this one, okay? I'm going to help you out with this one. Um, You have a TV, okay? You have a library full of yourself. Uh, best recommendation, after the hour segment that you just, like, videotaped and broadcasted yourself, sit down and watch and watch that. And then keep on doing that. Because by the time you get up to this point, you may not have to waste that luscious freaking steak dinner that you can't have at the end of it all <laughs> i mean i know which steak dinner it is and, and to be honest with you i think a raccoon would hand me a pack of hot dogs and said let's go and leave okay and hand me my to-go soda and just be like let's go okay raccoons are very sharp creatures if you give them away their babies if you give away their babies they will actually go like this for money they will go like this for money okay if you give them food, they're gonna they're gonna give it a, they're gonna give it right to their baby. I I, I mean, <laughs> and I'm a, I'm a vampire with a freaking sledgehammer in my hand. <laughs> Just whacking away at a steel bar saying that this is not happening. It is. <laughs> can't have alcohol. Can't have milk. Can't have chocolate. Can't have bread unless it's homemade. Um, the only thing I had to substitute for was was oil and, and butter. Because my body is a machine and needs to be greased up. I have a busted blown out right knee. 
which is trapped in physics somewhere. We can't capture it because I decided to body mass myself to maximum before that blowout. So it's it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. I'm superhuman and you're over here saying, well, is she dead yet? No, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> I'm pissed off. I am more pissed off at the fact that it was a quiet, rainy evening here in Michigan. And you fucking called. And you fucking called. <laughs> Have you no fucking shame? Have you no fucking shame? Do you know why I took everybody out of Star Trek? Because we will stay stuck in a freaking movie. We have no general knowledge of knowing unless we have gone through the research project of mine. It is very important to harvest the first year. Because starvation of humans is horrible when there is no food on the ground to be gathered. It is a horrible thing. And the mind to create ammo is not there. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God. You need to get rid of all your work. I, I, I do. I really wish that I really wish that when people go and riot into riot into Washington D.C., they're not rioting into offices. They're actually taking all their textbooks with them and setting it on fire to demonstrate the stupidity stupidity of this government right now. Because y'all are sitting there saying we're regulated. We're not regulated. We're not regulated. If we were regulated, I'm telling you, there would be a lot of financial upswing. And there's a lot of economic analysts sitting there bullshitting us to the nth degree. And they're also repeating the same bullshit too, just with different material. If you did not pay attention to George W.'s administration after Bill Clinton's administration, you're not going to find the repeat. I keep telling people to knock it the fuck off. You need to get off the phone. You need to get off the phone, quit calling, ask Graham if he wants, if you want to go out with him. Okay. More than likely he's going to say no. Bitch, he's got 45 fucking hoes and they all speak different fucking languages. They all have penthouses. What makes you anything fucking special? <laughs> I mean, come on. Forty-five hoes, and you think you're something special. The man actually favors one in Italy more often than the one in Germany. Like, and she's trying to have her killed. This is what's what's so fucking crazy. They started off as hoes, and they're and they're dying as hoes. This 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 was the, this is the crazy mentality we're trying to snap out of him. Okay, and you think you're something special? Holy crap! Holy shit! Don't think he a virgin. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't think he a virgin. This is the whole argument I'm having with, with the whole fucking family right now. Because they want to know what the fuck he did to keep, to keep his best friend in POW for two years. Okay. The kid was 16 years old. The dick was up. He, fuck, he fucking fucked before he flew out. Okay. It sucks to know that. This man is not a virgin. Please do not think you are more holy thou art than this fucking man. I swear to fucking God. I swear to fucking God. And don't even think you're going to change him. Because that's exactly what Bob Dole said to the one mistress that thought they could change him. And she was American. Oh, this, oh, this was hilarious. Oh, this was hilarious. I think this was the only thing that made me laugh and appreciate Bob Dole for what he was. Because my sister had a crush on him too. She had a crush on every male fucking Democrat figure. Even Al Gore. And I said, at least you picked somebody right. Gore is good looking. Oh, he is good looking and much smarter than fucking Rick Perry. Oh. I swear to God. I swear to God. I, I am. I'm going to get off. I'm going to get off bitching. <laughs> this is supposed to be a better night. And you fucking had to pick up the goddamn phone. 
do not touch the phone. Hey, 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 female politicians out there, do you want extra Starbucks cups? Okay, get rid of everything freaking telecommunications in her office so she can't fucking call. That's how you do it. Because with me, all you have to do is get a receipt. You got to get a receipt. And all you have to do is, it's like a little menu, pick out every single treat item you want from Starbucks. Just understand, I have a milk allergy, so make sure you, you cross out wherever you see oat milk, you load up on whatever it is. Just, just a suggestion, just a suggestion. Because I know you guys are starving when you look at our plates and stuff. Just be Democrat, that's Democrat. Democrats, let me see the receipt. Look at it, say, I want all this next time. All this next time. When I'm by myself, I want all this next time. And then, you know, make it a day, make it a day, make it a day and make yourself look more prominent than her. Cause this was the dumbest bimbo I've ever fucking seen in my goddamn life. When she first came out, when she first came out, my sister and I, we all touched the bridge of her nose. We all did. She will, she will actually hurt a lot of girls feelings by what she does. And a lot of these girls didn't grow up with the extra, like, uh, extra, extra on TV. <laughs> Which is why when I see Jed's mom and dad on the newspapers, I giggle. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, not even the CIA and FBI is regulated. A little bit of mix of private owned, private government, government owned. It's, it's got a lot of terms in that little, little circle. You know, called the bush. <laughs> Look at this tea is really working. The good earth. <laughs> it was it was a great day in the neighborhood. <laughs> was we had our pigeons flying we had elmo we had zoe no what do we fucking get kaylee fucking calling close to midnight why well, watch him in night of summer and gonna evil you really think that's what he's like oh my god kevin spacey does his own movies and his own characters just like bruce greenwood he does he's his own character he's his own character in his own movies scratch that up <laughs> oh Oh, was I was sitting there, I was like, do I watch Coneheads the capture that entrance into the Death Star, which is Coneheads High Master? Okay, do, do, I, do I go into it tonight? And then it's like, ring, ring, hi, I'm going to try to make this quick. I know I'm supposed to be off the phone. You're supposed to be off of it completely, 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 okay, completely. I mean, I can't tell you how many times we go through this Masters of the Universe December 19, 2015, okay? This is, this is it. Next time we go through it, I can't call. I gotta get the fuck out. <laughs> all right? All this programming, all the, it is, it is. I, you know, you know that metal skull cap with all the zaps and the wirings around it? That's, that's what Miscavige has put over my head, okay? Okay, Pinky here is getting reprogrammed to listen to different types of music, and I'm getting concerned because it's like, am I going to be a biblical figure when I go walking through? Or am I going to be an actual woman that's going to pick up her shit and get the fuck out before the whole fucking drama unfolds December 15, 2016? Like, <laughs> stay, stay off, stay off, stay off the phone, stay off the phone. Don't, don't even, don't even, don't even argue with me because nothing's regulated. Not even your menstrual is regulated. Like, I don't think you noticed that. <laughs> I'm just saying it's not. It's actually off by half a gram of, of a beaker cup. <laughs> I'm sorry. And it fluctuates too. Um, mm-hmm. That's for every woman. That's because uh, the gravity that used to be in Jimmy Carter's almanac is actually not on target. It's 9.8 or 10, right? Okay, well, I asked the question. I'm going to throw out this logic. I'm going to hurt Jimmy Carter's head. Um, how do we go from 9.8 straight up to 10? 
does it gradually get there? Is the next day it's 10 meters per second squared? Like, <laughs> you know, do we feel that? Like, do you feel it? Like, so there is, this, there's a subtle gradual inclination to 10 meters per second squared, and then it comes down to 9.8. So I'm going to laugh because you bodyguards out there are saying, you know, she's going to start crying that you're going to have a, uh, a, a duct letter on her. No, no. Sweetheart, I, I'm a vampire. I'm just here to guide. Okay, I have I have the oldest gray skull. Okay, IQ. I'm just here to guide you. I'm just here to let you know Graham is banging somebody else right now. <laughs> it's, it's not covered, that's for sure. Um Yeah, like <laughs> don't need to hear all that. Uh, but yeah, he's banging somebody. I, I wouldn't ask the question. I wouldn't ask the question. I, if I would start looking for somebody else. Don't get married. Don't get married. You you look for too much. <laughs> there goes that fucking headache again. I mean, you can't get off the fucking phone. Don't, what did I just get done telling you about tarot readings? They're just a story for you to follow along to get through your day. Oh my God. If you could see Donald Trump's tarot story, which is hilarious because he's got to get through a certain day. <laughs> yes, it's true. Yes, it's true. It's true, Trump. Don't lie. Don't fucking lie. Don't fucking lie. You let the whole fucking. Wonder one Wonder Woman psychic group come in to DC and you want to tell me I don't know what's going on yeah I do know what's going on that's why I'm going to get whipped through Massachusetts Rhode Island really fast back home okay right please don't lie to me don't lie to me don't lie to me at all because it's going to be a straight headache right down here all right straight headache and if you want to continue the lie <laughs> All I got to do is just say assassination attempt, mock, copycat, whatever, playoff production, just to just to have an excuse to uh, not do work. Uh, it's not good. Not good at all. You still wanted to keep going through because you say, I'm doing everything correct. No, you're not. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You would have Kaylee under control. You don't want to listen. Okay. Then you're missing out on 500, like, millions of millions of dollars. I keep telling you it's there. Whatever. But have yourself a good night. But I'm telling you, he is screwing somebody at the moment. And it ain't you, honey.